Hello everyone and welcome to From My Office Gaming. This is a uh, little different segment we are trying for From Our Basement Gaming. Uh, as you know, I am Kevin and today we'll be playing Sims 4 and I will be playing it by myself. So we are going to be playing a Legacy Challenge. And this is sort of a, um, I guess you could call it a prequel part, um, because I am setting up, I'm going to set up the female uh, founder for Legacy Challenge, because usually they're female, but I think they can be female or male. It's just a little bit easier um, to do a Legacy Challenge with a female sim. Uh, if you don't know what a Legacy Challenge is, it's basically you play through different generations. Uh, let's not do that. Uh, you play through different generations, and uh, I think the goal is to do seven different gen seven, <laughs> ten different generations. Sorry, I'm a little new to this type, so I might be a little bit awkward. Let's see. Um, no. Sometimes the random. All right, that's exact, almost exactly the same. Sometimes the randomizer gives you weird stuff. I kind of like that. What do you guys think? Hmm. Uh, it's a little bitter from the side. Now, um, basically, yeah, the legacy you play through ten generations. I don't remember all the rules. I'll probably have to go get them at some point. I don't know. What do you think? She's kind of cute. Um, I think we could go with this. Uh, maybe we'll change up her outfit a little bit. I do like that top. I basically like this outfit a lot, but... Um, maybe... Uh, well, that's a little too red. What do you think, guys? Like too red. Um, yeah, I think it's just basically, you know, you, uh, in the Legacy Challenge, you have a founder sim, and, uh, they will find a partner, and have kids, and then you play through the next generation when they grow up, uh, and you gotta you know, make it through 10 generations. I might try to figure out some little things to add in between to make it more interesting. What do you guys think, those pants? I'm, I'm not like a master at um, fashion. Black, maybe? You can never go wrong with black, right? Um, let's see her formal wear. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> Mm, maybe not. Okay, no, um, we are not going out like that. Uh, let's see, let's see what we have. Um, but yeah, I haven't really done a lot of it, but the major selling point of The Sims 4 was the I like that. It's simple, but you know, it does the job. Um, a major selling point of The Sims 4 was the create a sim, and you can like <gasps> click on body parts and slide them. Let me just show you. See, you can uh, make it thin, thick, you know, give her a little more thickness. Um, you know, you can broaden the shoulders, make them thinner, um, you can do it in certain parts of the face, whoops, yeah. My thing is sometimes I accidentally end up, there we go, making things worse. Yes, you can uh, do sliders in naughty areas, but I am going to avoid that uh, because we are a wholesome channel here. I don't know how oh. I like that for workout. I mean, that's a not a big I'm not a big fan of Sims 4 hats to be honest. Um, 
Let's just, yeah. Uh, workout. Let's make it a little more comfortable. Maybe. Yeah. And, you know, show off that sick tattoo you've got, like, um, I don't know how exciting this will be for you guys. This is, like, my pre part where I'm just setting up. I don't know. Workout. Maybe a hoodie? I think a hoodie would it's a little bit heavy though. Do do do. Oh, what do you guys work out in? <laughs> you like this? Yeah, that's good. Let's change up the color a little. I mean, black looks good, but um, you know, a little variety, right? Yeah, am I right? Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna play around a little, make my founder, uh, mess with the various options, uh, oh, cool. something that's really cool, um, you know, if you want to be inclusive, uh, I won't be doing it this time, but you can make uh, sims that are trans, basically, um, you know, there are various options for it, let's see. Yes, yeah, see, um, hold on just a minute. You can make sims that are more, uh, you know, masculine frame. I'll just do it a minute so you can see. Uh, feminine frame. Um, clothing could be masculine or feminine. Uh, you know, you can choose whether your sim can become pregnant, uh, or get others pregnant, or not, you know, not at all. Uh, how they use the toilet. Uh, so it's really cool that they have this, and these are features they added later. Uh, they did not come with the setup, but, you know, we like, we like, oh, you know, this is cute, uh, maybe I'll change the shoes. <laughs> This is basically a test run. I might not even show this video. Uh -huh. but, um, no. I mean, okay, it's basic. If you know what we're doing. Uh, sure. Sure, we like, uh, you know, she's, she's fine. She's, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's not. Do that dress with those sunglasses. Should do it together. Uh, the full outfits are kind of hit or miss, you know. I like that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, you know, we're gonna be seeing it a lot since it's summer wear, but I like it. I mean, it's, it's cute, right? Uh, maybe I'll change the shoes again. I mean, the shoes style's okay, let's change the color maybe? I don't know, these are weird shoes, but I like weird. Yeah, that's cute. Alright, let's see. So yeah, obviously you can change the age, you can make entire families if you want to play through them. What's the voice sound? Sepoma Wabasi. Um, I know it. Whisky. <laughs> Uh, so these are clearly men voices. Uh, let's go with Amoeba Shyla. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let's go with Sweet. Uh, Amoeba Sh That's a relationship setting. Different walk styles. So you could be real perky and feminine and oh, so cute. Uh, you could be too <laughs> I'm better than you, Hawk. Uh, it's kind of swagger. Yeah, I got it going on. Feminine. Yes, I'm a proper feminine. Uh, tough walk. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you, Hawk. Goofy walk. Uh, you know, uh, I'm just moving forward. Uh, sluggish. Mm, whatever, life. 
Life sucks. Why should I bother walking like a normal person? Uh -huh. Bouncy walk. Very, oh, everything's great. My life is wonderful walk. Uh, creepy walk, which I think is for vampires. So, so. It would be kind so. of funny if she had to <laughs> walk around like this. But, um, let's go with Swagger Walk. I know it's, um, not norm the norm to give your sim a Swagger Walk, but this is not a normal, uh, go. I mean, look at what she's wearing and how she, uh, I don't know, I just realized her lips are a little... Yeah, that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go with it. Uh, let's randomize the names because I don't have a specific name in mind. Okay, Carol. Very appropriate. Um, and Carol. That's boring. It seems like it should be the reverse, too. Uh, Janice. No. Yvonne. Jocelyn. Chelsea, okay, yeah, Chelsea's cute. Let's go with Chelsea. Chelsea Carol. Um, gosh, we have like a billion aspirations. But since it's a legacy challenge, I'm gonna go with one of the family aspirations. Successful lineage. Wants to have a family that succeeds in life. Wants to be the best parent ever. Um, Sim wants to build a large living household. Gosh, this is hard to choose. Uh, I like all three of them. But successful lineage. Big happy family. Let's go with successful lineage. Seems like a good thing. And, um... Traits. Yeah. Let's see. Let's randomize the traits. See what we get. Oh boy. Um, creative. Good. And a glutton. Uh huh. I'm not uh -huh. a big fan of glutton, to be honest. So let's see. But we've got two positive traits, so we got to do a negative one. Um, I need it. Extra work to keep in good condition. Their problems sometimes appear trivial and they may even appear out of the blue. Uh -huh. These struggles can be remedied through mindful habits, which puts them in a state of calmness. I mean, of catharsis. Sorry. I can't read, apparently. Um, let's try that out. I really don't know much about it. So, this will be interesting. So there we go, Chelsea Carroll. Oh wait, there's there's one more thing. Let's do some likes and dislikes. Color. So we have 20. Uh, this is relatively new uh, option we have. All right, uh, 20. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Well, she's wearing a lot of red, so let's do red. Huh. Uh, black. She doesn't really seem like Ninja. a pastel <laughs> uh, girl, so maybe not like pink. Um, maybe do she doesn't like green much. And then, um, I guess I'll just do one more because we need more choices. Let's say dislike yellow. I know I'm being kind of random here, but oh, <laughs> that's um, it's not really my reaction to yellow unless it's really bright yellow. But I I, I understand the feel, lady. I do. Uh, let's see. Music. Oh my gosh, there's so many choices. Let's say she likes romance. Music. Oh. Uh -huh. S-pop, <laughs> which is a, a reference to, like, K-pop, Korean pop, or J-pop, Japanese pop. 
Could even be a reference to C pop, which is Chinese pop. Although I don't know if they call it that. I know there's a genre called Mando pop, like Mandarin pop, uh, which I listen to some of that. Um, in yes, you to may. J pop and K pop. I don't know. I'm a little bit of a nerd for Asian music, but I listen to a lot of European stuff too, so let's see. You know what? Our, our station's all about retro, so she likes retro music. Uh, 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 oh, for boo. Um, maybe... I don't know what backyard music means. Maybe not as into Baroque. Oh, uh... Classical yeah. and... Buddy. Let's see, you made three mm. likes, so let's do three dislikes. Um, you know, easy listening, kind of boring. <sighs> she finds it like uh -huh. whatever. That gave us eleven. Wow. Maybe I did too many. Uh, let's see. We've got activities. So um, what? I only did no three and three. Oh, two and three. Let's do one more color. I'm gonna try to make it all even. Ah, uh, let's just like gray. Gray is dull. Uh, what? Some though. Oh no, that's just four. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to do another uh, like. Um, all right, gray, you're off the hook. Um, let's see, like purple. Huh. There we go. Three and three. Our that's boy. pretty. Uh, <laughs> that's even now, right? Um. I might not even show that this one, folks. This is, um... Yeah, this is just a trial, you know? Let's see. Activities. What do you guys think? What does she look like? She looks like she likes dancing, maybe? Babu Kalora? Oh, yeah. Yeah, dancing. Ninja! <laughs> Acting, baking, bowling. Comedy, cooking, DJ mixing, dancing, fishing, fitness, gardening, guitar, handiness, media production. Like me, that's a me. Uh, mischief, mixology, painting, photography, and programming, research, and debate. I don't know why I'm reading them all out. There's a lot of them. You can read them, right? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Ah, okay. Well, I like saying so I want I'm basically leaving the rest of these two activities because I knew there was a bunch of them. Well, that's like cooking and it seems heavy. She's high maintenance. Ninja! She's a high maintenance person to do. <laughs> but she's also good and creative, so she would like painting. Yeah, oh yeah. Babu Kalora? I'll do one more like and then we'll do some dislikes. What do you guys see creative? Does she like writing? Maybe? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. One, two, three, four. No, I wouldn't have enough left to make a I can do four dislikes, yeah. One, two, three. Okay. Dislikes. Mmm. Gosh. Mm. I don't know. Would a high meat maintenance person dislike gardening? I'd say maybe she dislikes gardening. Um. Creative. I don't know, man. Um. Maybe she doesn't like mischief. Uh, please. Huh. I don't believe. Ooh, um, wait. Okay, I'm gonna take out one of the likes. Uh, let's take out dancing. Uh, because a high maintenance person probably likes wellness. Because I think this was added for the refresh of spa day, which you know is all about. Uh, I think they added manicures and pedicures. Uh, speaking of that, that's something I should do before I finish. But she doesn't... High maintenance. 
cleaning is not an option, but if cleaning was there, she would dislike that. Maybe, yeah, fishing. It's too much work. You have to garden and fish for our food? No way. I mean, cooking is nice. Cooking can be relaxing. Oh, getting our hands in the dirt, to deal with worms, fishing, ew, who wants to do that? Uh, maybe she doesn't like... I don't want to dislike video games, because that's a good way to build up the funds. Program. Programming can be a lot of work. I mean, no thanks, don't want to do that. Okay, I want to see... I don't know how to access it. Accessories, maybe? Oh yeah, here we go. This is a new feature that was added uh, in the Spa Day refresh that I didn't get to do. Eh. Don't like very much. I'm not into that whole French manicure stuff. I mean... I guess as a, I guess you would say, well, as a guy, you wouldn't be, but there are some guys that like to get manicures. Um, and in terms of, you know, uh, ooh, I like the green, but it really wouldn't match. She could do red or black. How about red? Yes. Okay. Mm. Yes, very good. Uh, what else? I think we're about done. We have um, nine minutes to spare. Chelsea Gerald. So that will be our founder. Very nice. Okay. So I'm going to end for here. That concludes our um, our create a sim for our founder that you will be seeing in the uh, finale, not finale, <laughs> in the actual gameplay I do for the legacy. Um, so I will end here for now. And thank you guys for watching. We've ended a little early, but um, I probably won't do a part where I built the house, but um, I am going to do a tutorial to make a house off screen. I suck at building houses, but for the regular legacy, you have to have a house. So, um, I will probably do that off screen and you will see it in part one. Thanks guys for coming. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye for now.